Hi everyone, it is January 23rd, 2018. I want to pass along a video that was passed along to me. Former flight attendant of U.S. Airlines reveals strange radar weather. This is on JWTV's channel. I subscribe and I recommend that you check out his channel because he reports on a lot of good stuff. So he is interviewing a former flight attendant who is talking about these uh, weather apps that flight attendants use and she is talking about Hurricane Harvey and Hurricane Irma and how Ur Hurricane Irma the radar that the flight attendants were looking at was not what mainstream media was reporting and she also talks about Harvey, how uh, they just made the clouds, yeah, sit over Houston and flood it out for four days. But she does mention that the wind speeds that the app was telling flight attendants for Irma was not the wind speed that mainstream media was reporting. Very much like In Truth by Grace. I forgot that In Truth by Grace's channel got terminated and then mine got terminated very soon after. But In Truth by Grace on her Truth, her primary channel, she was reporting on the wind speeds and the radar. Hurricane Irma was not even on the radar and she was reporting on the wind speeds going to specific sites, looking at the buoys, looking at the wind speed, and saying, this is not even a hurricane. The flight attendant said, we didn't get uh, the uh, hurricane on the app. It was a tropical storm. Man, more and more evidence comes out every single day that these storms are manufactured to cause an awful lot of chaos to destroy a lot of Americans. Oh, and we still can't get through to our fellow Americans, which is really a shame. But I go to In Truth by Grace because she got a lot of flack from people. I read the comments. The flight attendant is confirming what In Truth by Grace was reporting. So I went to IntelliCast and I see fire, 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 fire. All right. I also see ultra low, uh, ultra low frequencies still going off up here in the north. It seems to be a daily happening with these ultra low frequencies north of Seattle, Spokane. Ultra low frequencies, very dangerous. Ultra low frequencies. Also, just northwest of Portland. And as you can see, there are bands right here. You see all the faded lines. That is a signature of ultra low frequencies. So you've got four places up here in the west shooting off ultra low frequencies. I also took film of or I captured uh, what was happening with the storms on the East Coast and in Canada last night. An awful lot of ultra low frequencies being set off Northeast Canada. But these beams are crossing and that's that is very dangerous. I can't predict anything um, they use these frequencies to steer storms, to steer the jet stream, to um, they can induce earthquakes with these frequencies. All I can say is it's not good. So, fires. Okay. Yesterday, yesterday, I got from a friend in Dallas. She showed me 
that she was getting these alerts from Noah. Weather live in Plano, Texas. Fire weather watch. A fire weather watch. And she thought it was kind of odd because that's where she lives and it was raining. It was raining. So Noah was predicting fires in an area of Texas and it was raining. And then later on in the afternoon, sure enough, um, Texas has fires. So Noah can predict fires when it's raining. How, how does Noah predict a brush fire? Well, that's what they had. They had evacuations. Um, they did get it under control very quickly, which is really, really good. But my friend in Dallas also got, as I was on Skype with her watching the videos on the brush fire in Texas, she gets another alert. Frisco, Texas, fire weather watch. She lives in Frisco. So this kind of, considering the California fires, I'm sure people who received this alert were on edge. On edge. Um, what are all these alerts? You know, I spoke to another subscriber who lives in North Carolina and he said that, I don't know, about five days ago, suddenly their nuclear power plant siren went off. And he lives like a stone's throw from that nuclear power plant. Apparently, what was reported was it was that they were putting in a new generator and the alarm went off by mistake. Think about Hawaii. Oh, that alarm. False alarm. And it took them, what, like 40, 40 minutes to alert? Then Japan, the following day, they have a false alarm just like Hawaii. So it does seem that these alarms are um, happening more frequently. But I see more fires. I checked it out. I couldn't find. I don't think IntelliCast would register a fire if it's a house fire. So in these areas, that's the only thing that I could see was a house fire. So there's one just um, east of, or I'm sorry, west of New Orleans, New Orleans, sorry, and another fire in Texas, which I couldn't find any information about. But what was really concerning was when I saw California fire, fire. Okay, what's going on in California? Brush fire breaks out in Thousand Oaks. This is the only, this is the Los Angeles Times. And this came in um, just a few minutes ago. Brush fire in Riverside uh, or uh, Thousand Oaks. That's it. That's all the information that you're going to get. So here's another fire that breaks out in Los Angeles. Thousand Oaks. And I tried to find on a uh, Cal State fire map, and all it has is just a red um, dot, and I clicked on it, and no information whatsoever. So, Riverside County wildfire. And this just came in, but again, Los Angeles Times, no information whatsoever, just pictures. Isn't that a little bizarre? I think it is. All right. Um, so, no, 
and I have to continually like refresh wildfire detection on in telecast now. But I see three fires up here in Canada. Can't get any information except for um, are you guys having computer problems? I'm really having computer problems. But highway reopened after fire at Port um, BC, uh, British Columbia. Um, it was a train yard wreck. A truck hauling ethanol was hit by a train. It was a collision between a truck and a train car. But that is under control, which is good, right? And here, Cal Fire. Man, guys, I'm sorry. Oh, it has taken off the information about it. But here on this map, U.S. wildfire activity map, Riverside brush fire, can't get any information. No information on it. But this is the only thing that I came up with. Fire crews are on scene of two brush fires on the central coast. The Happy Fire in the San Jimenez Valley started just after 3 in the area of Secretariat Street and Happy Canyon Road. It burned about five acres before crews got it contained. We did alert our mobile app users about this fire minutes after it started. Download the KSUI News app free in your app store to get news sent directly. Get your alerts. Get your apps so that news uh, channels can alert you to fires. My friend never even she doesn't even know how she got this NOAA app to get the fire weather watch. You know what is also odd? A friend of mine here back in October got a letter from her her mortgage bank and this is what it said. It's a FEMA declaration we received notification that the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, issued a major disaster declaration for the areas surrounding your above-referenced property. So the bank says, we understand the impact a disaster can have on your family as well as your home. As a courtesy during this difficult time, we will waive the late fee assessments, if needed, for 30 days following the FEMA declaration effective date. There was no disaster. Nothing happened here. This is a friend who lives just a few miles away from me. No disaster, but she gets this letter. And when she told me about it, she said, are they, are they alerting us to something that will be coming in the future. Perhaps. I mean, how does a bank send this out and there's no disaster? Oh, human failure. That's right. It's human failure. Um, guys, <laughs> this isn't going to, this, we're going to get alerts now where this is the new normal. It is the new normal. Um, these ultra low frequencies, how they seem to be here, we have ultra low frequencies again being set off in the same place that I have shown you before, which is um, north of Stephenville Crossing. Look at this. I mean, it, it's so obviously not, not Mother Nature. Not Mother Nature. God, it's so... It's, I don't know, surreal to be living this. You know it, and then you just can't get people to even consider doing the research on it. But once again, ultra-low frequencies going off. Um,
in very close proximity. This, sorry guys, is just not how Mother Nature rolls. Mother Nature has been killed off. We don't have natural weather anymore. It's gone. It's gone. Here we have ultra low frequencies. Uh, right here. You see all these light bands. Very dangerous. They create weather. <laughs> I mean, my God, it couldn't be more obvious. They create weather, but these frequencies are really doing a number on life itself, but on on our brains, on our minds, on our thinking. God, I wish we could just go back to the days before this technology. Anyway, guys, I just really, it started with my wanting to post this. I'll link below to everything. I hope everybody is doing well.